So in this video, we're going to learn the concept of matter. That is what exactly is matter. So see guys, anything which occupies space and has mass is known as matter. I repeat, what is matter? Anything which occupies space and has mass is called matter. So let's understand this with the help of a few examples. So this over here is a glass of water. Does it occupy space? Yes, if I keep it over here, it'll occupy some space. Does it have mass? Yes, so it is matter. As simple as that. A teaspoon of sugar, does it occupy space? Yes. Does it have mass? Yes. So it's also matter. Pile of books over here, guys. Do they occupy space? Yes. And they're pretty heavy, right? They have mass, so again matter. Similarly, pieces of coal. Then you have a balloon over here. Then you have pens, pen stand over here. And you have table and chair. So these are all examples of things which are matter. So whenever you want to tell whether something is matter or not, all you have to do is check, does it occupy space? They all do. Do they have mass? They all do. So these are examples of matter. Let me take another example. This is something which you all will love. Our favorite fast food combo, burger, fries, and a cold drink. Now, my question to you is, is this matter? Does it occupy space? Yes, it does. Does it have mass? Yes, so it is again matter. Is this clear? Similarly, this tiger over here, is this matter? Yes. So a lot of kids have this confusion. Are living things also matter? Yes, they are. So both non-living and living things, both of them are matter. See, as long as anything, living or non-living, occupies space and as mass, it is an example of matter. So these are all the things which are matter. So pretty much everything you see around you, including you and me, we are all examples of matter. So I hope the concept of matter is clear. Now I want you to think of something which is not matter. Can you tell me something which does not occupy space and does not have mass? Think about it. The answer is emotions, guys. So happiness, sad, angry. These are all examples of things which are not matter. Do they occupy space? No. Do they have mass? No. So these are things which are not matter. Is this clear? So, so from the point of view of chemistry, things like friendship, love, affection, hatred, good manners, thoughts, ideas, taste and smell are not considered as matter. While they matter a lot, but from the point of view of chemistry, they are not considered as matter. Is this clear? So I repeat, what is matter guys? Anything which occupies space and has mass is called as matter. Table, chair, you, me, board, food, all these things are examples of matter. And what is not matter? Emotions are not matter. So I hope the concept of matter is clear.